Jeff kind of thinks that uh, I'm getting too old to climb on bands and that, but uh, I still do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is my family farm, nestled in the plains of Illinois. It's where I grew up, right in the middle of the prairie state. I'm a fifth generation farmer, and like many farming families, my parents, Dean and Carol, still work the land, despite being in their 80s. We're standing here in the farmstead that uh, my grandfather used to farm, and hearing and seeing the way that my grandfather uh, used to farm, how difficult it was this was an area that uh, he had to use horses and mules when he was uh, my age and, and younger when he was farming. And then to be able to go through that transition now to have automation and digital driving farming, it's, it's a tremendous transformation uh, over a period of time. Discussing how we improve the farm is a reoccurring conversation around our kitchen table. Is that Austin pulling in? Austin is my son. Currently, he's studying agriculture in college, and hopefully, he'll become a sixth generation farmer. Okay. Ooh, cookies. <laughs> Muffins, cookies, and bread. <laughs> Grandma knew you were coming. <laughs> Good morning, Al. Good morning, Austin. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Regenerative agriculture is seen by many as a better way to farm in harmony with nature and make things on the farm better for the soil and the environment. Regenerative agriculture. I've been hearing a lot about it. Um, something that uh, you know we've been thinking about and trying different experiments. What do you guys think? To me, regenerative agriculture and what it's trying to accomplish um, is, is really, it's about more productivity. It's about working more closely with the environment that you're operating in. It's about being more informed. And it's about reducing the impact agriculture has uh, on the environment. There are views that are negative to large agriculture entities. And uh, from my perspective, uh, again, because I, I come from a farm, I'm very confident that for society and for farmers around the world, being able to utilize uh, a lot of the great innovation that we have at our fingertips today, things like using uh, sensors and being able to use big data and be able to analyze what's really going on with the soil health and be able to come up with precision application tools that allow you to be able to make better, more informed decisions. Big companies in agriculture, like Syngenta, have a very important role to play. With margins in farming being so thin, Bringing in changes always carries a risk. We can't afford to lose money, so I enlisted some help. I think it's very important that farms and farmers take on kind of what does the future look like? And the best way that I know to do that is to do experiments. And, and this is a journey that will take more than a year. And like any experiment, we'll get things wrong and we'll have to adjust. Uh, we'll learn from it, we'll pivot, we'll do something else. Look at that, we got some nice earthworms. Look at that, that's nice. Basically the story on this field is, is that we had a hard time getting cover crops established in the first place. So the first few years, we had you know pretty bad stand. This last year, we had the opposite problem. <laughs> they did too well. And so we also, um, we probably waited a little too long to terminate them. So if you've worked with farmers on this, um, do they go all in? Are they conventional? no-till and then all of a sudden they're strip till or are they? Um, I, I get a little nervous when people go all in yeah. on every acre and sell their equipment. It's the farming version of a New Year's resolution, right? January 1st, everyone is in the gym eating healthy. And you know, February 1st, it's much less people. Same thing, you know, you want to dip your toe in, start with the easy things. And you know, as you see results, you know, then you take the next step. We'll see how dry the corn is and then Figure out what capacity we're running at. So. What was it yesterday? Uh, it was running at uh, six sixteen yesterday. Some of it was at thirteen. Okay. Thirteen, which we didn't even. Of course, what were your run. beans? Uh, they were nine percent yesterday. They were. That's pretty dry. <laughs> too dry. Yeah. Were they breaking? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Still yielding well though. So. You introduced no technology on the farm just to. Um, to survive, I guess <laughs> you have to uh, use new technology, or you just fall behind. Looking at my 
my grandpa, it's kind of hard for him to adapt to newer technologies. That's a common trend in agriculture. There's not many young people in it. And I think technology will help bridge that gap of having younger people in agriculture, which is crucial to keeping agriculture sustainable. Hop on in. All right. You know, one of the things that I've been thinking about is how to manage this part of the field differently than this part of the field, which is obviously much more productive. What, what do you see when you see this tobacco tree? Yeah, these look like opportunity zones, I suppose. The thing to do in my mind would be to square off areas that are have a different productivity level. So up here, more productive. I would use perennials to create a square border, an easy to manage border for you. Give yourself some turn room away from these trees. Move the corn. Let's take a long time. <laughs> Let's see, my low was um, the one row of corn that was left when I was harvesting. <laughs> that there's a lot of video evidence of. We have the opportunity to enjoy the farm right now, but it's uh, actually, I mean, it's going to go to somebody else as soon as we're gone. I mean, that's uh, the way life is. I mean, uh, I guess it's our corner of the world right now. <laughs> oh, somebody's been running. Well, only that one's running. Did you ever sell that other one? Yeah, that one's sold, yeah. <laughs> it's, ru it's rush hour. It's, it's rush hour. Wow. I'm not sure I've ever seen a bus go by. <laughs>